Have you ever wondered what goes into getting an S rank after a game? And how you can get more S ranks in general? Well, this three minute video has you covered. Getting an S rank comes down to three things. How good you were in combat, your gold income, and your map control. Thankfully, Rito gives you access to all this information in your stats tab, where, for example, we can look at one of my better champions on this account of Thresh. Let's start by looking at what contributes towards your combat rating. Firstly, we see that your KDA is taken into account, and it's good to know that kills and assists are counted as the same versus your deaths. Secondly, we see that kill participation is taken into account, so you want to be involved in a good amount of your team's fighting. Next, we see your utility score, which isn't necessarily the first thing you think of, but this represents the amount of crowd control, healing, and damage reduction you've provided for your team. The fourth stat taken into account is the damage you deal per death. I would personally have thought it would just keep track of your damage dealt, but in my opinion this is a great way to do it as anyone can artificially increase their damage by fighting all the time. And the final stat taken into account is the percentage of your team's damage dealt, to show how much you're helping overall with your team's fighting compared to your other members of your team. Where it's good to know everything that goes into your combat stats, we see that my averages are compared with an average diamond tier thresh support. This is because what you need to do to get this S rank will change depending on the average of that champion's performance in that role. In simple terms, you need to be better than the average for your champion in the role you're playing. So if I were to take my thresh into the mid lane, I would instead have my stats compared to the average thresh mid laner. And we'll come on to why this can help us get more S ranks later. The next thing taken into account is your income. And what contributes towards it firstly is your damage per gold, where you're told exactly how much damage you deal to champions per gold you've gained. Next we have your early gold advantage, where your gold versus your opponent is taken into account at the 15 minute mark. Following this, your early CS advantage versus your opponent at 15 minutes is also taken into account. And then we see your general CS per minute throughout the game is also taken into account. I found a lot of this pretty surprising. There's a large emphasis on getting as much gold as possible, as fast as possible, and as early as possible, with Rito putting a strong emphasis on this initial gold gain during the first 15 minutes of laning phase. And how well you convert this gold into damage. Also, if you've learned anything so far, please drop a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this. And the final thing taken into account is your map control. Firstly, we see objective control, where the amount of objectives you've helped your team take is taken into account. We then of course see that your vision score is considered when seeing how much map control you provided. Next, we have an interesting one, which is roam dominance, where how much you contributed towards kills, deaths, and assists in other lanes before 15 minutes is taken into account. So you do get heavily rewarded for early roams if you're able to get a second and lane ahead. And the final stat, which I always put a huge emphasis on in my videos, is your kill conversion rate, which is how often you can kill an enemy champion and turn it into a tower, dragon, a herald, or baron. So all these things coming together shows off your performance, which is then compared to the average performance of that champion in that role, and following that you are assigned your grade. So how can you get more S ranks? Well, the way to do it is to play your champion in a different position. We can assume that average thresh mid probably doesn't go very well. So if you play a few games of it and do well, you're far more likely to get that S ranking you want. So you can get your spammable taunt even faster. 